Cassidy House here at the Bagley Center tonight, fans. Too bad some of you folks didn't get down here. You could have bought some of the cheaper seats that I think there's a few still available way in the back. But we're full up at ringside and the, and the local bleachers. Meanwhile, Tony Kazinga is in a precarious position. Chad Manning tried to pin him. Side headlock by Tony Kazinga on Chad Manning, ring center. Big things planned for the weeks to come by championship wrestling. Sandy Barr has got some other fo folks in mind to bring into the Pacific Northwest, including Justice Incorporated, Mike Roselli and Randy Tyler. Randy the Rocket Tyler, the two attorneys from Vancouver, British Columbia. If you want information concerning the wrestling matches or anything that's happening in your area, call this number, fans. It's a 503 number. It's 503-289-4222. The wrestling information, 503-289-4222. Great suplex by Chad Manning. I thought we had a pin. Chad Manning disdainfully talking to referee Dan, Dan Andrews, saying, I think you should have counted a little harder. Tony Kazinga has a busted lip. Bleeding from the mouth. He just now notices himself. You can't... You can't you cannot help but know what that taste is if you've been in this business when the blood starts flowing. I wonder what's left of the pack or who is the pack anymore. It used to be Lou the Bull Andrews, Dane Rush, and Bulldog Jesse Barr. Now, Dane Rush says he's all that's left of the pack because Dane Rush. Uh, Lou the Bull Andrews says he's all that's left the bank the pack because Dane Rush has uh, flown the coop and Jesse Barnes nowhere to be found. We're looking all over for Jesse. What a true champion Jesse Barnes. He's still one half of the Championship Wrestling International Alliance Heavyweight Tag Team Championship with his partner Ryu McGo, who's here tonight. But we just haven't been able to run down Jess. We don't know what part of the world he's in at the present time. There's a back body dropped by Tony Kazinga on Chad Manning. Tries for a pin on a one, maybe, a count. Manning legs on the rope, breaks that count in it immediately. There's another suplex try. And he succeeds, taking the heavier man over. Hurt himself in doing so. Tries for a pin, puts a lot of meat on him. No, no such thing, says Chad Manning. No pin on me. Kicks out. Kazinga's going to arm whip him again, full length of the ring. Tries it reversed by Manning, slams into that turnbuckle. Another old veteran here tonight. One of the old warriors of the ring. Tito Carrion is here tonight, sitting in the wings. Tony Kazinga up on the top rope here, testing the win. Oh, he, look at this. Oh, my stars. What a maneuver. Tony Kazinga. Oh. I thought we had a pin. That's one of the most fantastic moves I've ever seen on Championship Wrestling USA. Off the top rope, flying head scissors, Chad Manning, bringing him in over the top rope, almost broke his own neck in the process. Then he missed the count by half a turn. There's a double side kick by Kazinga, trying for the pin on. We got a two count. Dan Andrews said that's only two. These guys have been going at one another now for about 10 minutes. Hard right hand, midsection. A reverse suplex, tries for it, sets his man on the top rope. Goes up after him, Kazinga's kind of groggy. Oh, he's going to suplex him from the... Oh, he's going up to the top rope. Chad Manning tried the top rope. They're both going back and forth at one another. Kazinga says, I will have none of that. Kazinga pops him. What's Kazinga doing now? Oh, he flying head him off the top rope onto the mat here. Oh, he's got him. Tony Kazinga has won his very first professional wrestling match here at the Bagley Center. And what a win it was. He did a reverse inside flying head scissors from the top rope on Chad Manning. Brought him down to the mat. Knocked him senseless. Pinned him. That's Kazinga's very first win, fans. We're going to be back right after this with the more championship wrestling, let's see, who am I going to be interviewing? I'm going to be interviewing none other than the world-famous Tony Moore.